Hello, hello, hello. It's been a minute since I have done this. I've been back from New York since a couple of weeks now, but on our last day there, it got super windy and super cold. And although we were kind of prepared for it, but Ashwin caught something and fell really sick. And after a couple of days, even I got it from him. And we both have been absolutely sick since the last couple of weeks. It was Diwali just a few days ago. And the max that we could get done was deep cleaning because that's kind of a non-negotiable when it comes to Diwali. I haven't done my closet switcheroo that I do every other season. I haven't meal prepped in almost two weeks since we got back. Basically, life has been pretty messy and haywire. I haven't even changed my bed sheets since two weeks now, which is kind of gross. But today we are changing that. Before anything, I have to get to the grocery store because right now, all we have is eggs and bread nothing for lunch or dinner uh, also I'm planning to do some meal prep so that we can have a little bit of sanity when it comes to food throughout the week let me know in the comments below how was your Diwali I would love to know there was also Karva Chauth which is an Indian festival that a lot of married couples celebrate so if you did how was it how was Diwali and by the way guys I got my hands on the Alda MD sunscreen when I was in New York so far really nice I got the one that has a mix of chemical and mineral ingredients. It doesn't really have any white cast, but feels super protective. And this is my outfit of the day. I'm so thankful for the 68 degrees because I've been wanting to wear a sweater over the t-shirt with the collar kind of showing like this since a while but it got really cold a few days ago so I was like oh okay maybe the cold season is here but today I can wear just a sweater and get away with it so I'm wearing this red sweater that I got from J. Crew, and then the t-shirt is from Uniqlo and the usual device 501s let's go to the farmer's market I got my hands on a ripe persimmon. Let me tell you, this is a mango of fall in my opinion. It looks like tomato and bell peppers, if that makes any sense, but tastes very similar to mango, but not really. It's sweet, but only when it's completely ripe. I got two of them a couple of weeks ago, but those were not ripe and they're still the same so i don't know what to do about those i asked the farmer's market lady and she told me that if i keep it with apples it might ripen up so i'm gonna try that but i got myself a ripe one today and this is what it looks like and it has to be completely gooey for it to be tasty otherwise it just tastes weird if i may i don't have any word for how it tastes if it's not completely ripe but when it's ripe it is the sweetest thing ever i would say it's even peachy to an extent what it definitely is is delicious I am kind of hungry. Before getting into meal prep, I'm gonna make myself a protein smoothie. The usual banana, blueberries, 
coconut water, some more blueberries. I just spent a god awful amount of time mindlessly scrolling on the internet. I feel like it almost resembles the same feeling that I have after I've had a lot of junk food. When I'm having it, I want to have more and more and nothing ever is enough. But then a few hours later or the next morning, I feel the absolute worst. But we're going to get started with meal prep. I'm definitely not going to be able to get done all that i had planned in a utopian world these days the days end so early by the time the sun sets in my mind i'm ready for bed but it's just five o'clock so it's kind of messing with my circadian rhythm and i'm still getting used to it but all that being said let's get started <laughs> Good morning! Just here enjoying my cup or a glass of coffee. I didn't feel like having a warm cup of coffee so I made myself a rather bland cup of coffee with water and milk. The water and milk was a bit cold so that works for whatever this is. Still delicious, not too bad. So it's been almost a year since I have been posting on YouTube. A lot of the times when I'm editing, I realize that I 
keep yapping about some of the things without a lot of context. So I wanted to do a Q&A so that maybe if there are certain things that you want to know about me, I am able to answer those. So a little after I came back from New York, I did a Q&A on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I link my profile in the description below. I got a total of four questions and two of the questions were very similar. So I thought I'll answer those questions here today. The first question was, how is New York? So New York was a lot of fun. It's been a couple of times that we have been there. We pretty much do the same things, coffee, bagel, trying new places to eat. This time we spent a whole day in Brooklyn in and around Prospect Park. We really love the Soho to Noho stretch, uh, the Bleecker Street area, our goal generally is to have at least 15 to 20,000 steps a day and we are easily able to meet that goal. So yeah, New York was a lot of fun. The second question that I got was, what's my favorite car? So my favorite car is a Porsche 911. When I was a kid, it used to be a Toyota Corolla. And I remember when I was in class 8th or 9th, there used to be a Bollywood newspaper that would come every Friday or Wednesday. And there was a segment one day that had featured all the cars owned by Bollywood celebrities. And that's when I first saw Porsche. And ever since then, I really like that car. So I would say that's my favorite car. Uh, I'm not very big on specifications. My husband is, but I do love cars, looking at them and just fantasizing about them. And the third question was what I do for a living? What's my educational background? So I went to law school in India and in the US. And I have also finished some of the requirements here in Canada. I've done my articling, passed a set of exams, but I'm not licensed to practice here. Up until recently, I was involved in the profession, but right now I have taken a break from it at least temporarily. So I am a housewife, a homemaker. I also create content on the side. So YouTube actually takes a lot of my time. I came into this uh, as a complete novice. So camera, editing, filming, all of this was pretty new to me. So there has been quite a learning curve. So yeah, pretty much that's what I do. Hopefully this answered some of your questions. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer those for you. I'm just gonna finish my coffee and get started with the day. So the den is complete mess, especially my desk is a complete mess. So I'm trying to build this very basic IKEA cabinet shelf, whatever you want to call it. Since I've gotten married, this is my first time ever trying to assemble a furniture all by myself. So wish me luck because I am a little too dependent on my husband when it comes to these things and uh, shamelessly admitting it here. But today I'm going to change that. I'm going to try to do it all by myself. Okay, but it still doesn't make any sense. We are on the right track at least. This recording is the only proof that I did it. we are done i cannot believe this is such a simple thing but i have never done this only because i would get really intimidated by the whole process if i'm being honest while doing this several times i had the thought that maybe i should have waited till the evening do it with him or maybe i should just let it be because assembling this was really simple but i spent half an hour figuring out how to exactly do it and i was doing it 
all wrong but look at that i made three of these so oh here we have it this makes me feel accomplished in a very weird way showered and changed i haven't had lunch and uh, it's almost the end of the day yesterday i did all the meal prep but today i don't know why i feel like having either thai food or something that's closer to those flavors and i saw this recipe online where people are mixing rice cooked rice with kimchi but it also has avocado and tofu or shrimp in it but i don't have any of those i don't have avocado shrimp but i do have paneer and i have kimchi and i have cooked rice so i'm thinking i'm gonna make kimchi rice because i want to try it. it looks it looks really delicious and i got this plant-based kimchi from metro the other day it's just 15 calories so i guess this is pretty nice not bad at all it was so easy to make barely took me five minutes after the rice was ready i would say that the flavors are a little different than a regular fried rice and indo chinese fried rice or a thai fried rice but it's somewhere in that family the paneer not necessarily the best choice but it's not bad with tofu i can see this working very well It is 5 o'clock right now, but it feels almost like 8 or 9. I'm headed to Sephora right now. If you don't know, they have their savings event going on. A similar event happens around March and April. And these are the times when I generally get all my skincare and makeup products. And I just restock it for 3 to 6 months. I did order some of the stuff online, but I wanted to get some specific makeup products, so I wanted to swatch it before I get it. I'm wearing this sweater and a coat, and I feel kind of warm, so can't complain about the weather. It's been relatively warmer this November, so that makes me really happy. Right now, the streets are full of people going home from work, so it's pretty crowded. So I guess I'll see you later. I'm back. I didn't get anything. It was so crowded, but I was reunited with Ashwin who got me flowers on his way back from work. And right now he's evaluating what I did throughout the day, which is assembling the furniture. And um, turns out I used the tools that he uses for phones and hardware to assemble the furniture. The testament of stupidity continues. But the flowers are nice. It smells amazing too. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much marks would you give me for the assembly? 8. 8. Not bad for a first timer. It's just that a few screws are loose. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I was gonna tell you. I wanted to give up so many times throughout the day, but I kept going. Mm -hmm. Now basically we're gonna have some dinner and then call it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and if you did please consider subscribing to my channel and like this video for the algorithm. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.